People on Instagram are making huge money from Tension their posts. Business Start an online business selling online courses or online coaching. In this video, I want to show you how to recognize a entrepreneur. This is someone who sells online get rich quick schemes using shady sales tactics. I got the term from this excellent Mike Winnett video where he goes into the offline real life version of what we're discussing. A entrepreneur's product is usually an expensive online course or exclusive mentorship opportunity that is marketed as giving you the special knowledge or secret steps in order to achieve success in a particular field. These are known as knowledge products because the thing that's being sold is information. The reasons I'm making this video show showing you how to recognize a entrepreneur are that the price to quality ratio is often wildly out of sync with the value of the knowledge product. The adverse effect on people engaging with these entrepreneurs is massive, life ruining in some cases. This is all legal. People have been pulling off these cons for years and it's only getting more prevalent as a result of the internet. Let's take a look at a few examples of entrepreneur marketing that I found while browsing the business and entrepreneurship side of YouTube. In order to set a baseline for what is legitimate marketing for a knowledge product, I want to show you Brad Traversy's web development courses and how he markets them. His YouTube channel, Traversy Media, offers a huge amount of free, high quality educational content on web design and programming. The marketing he uses for his paid courses on Udemy is limited to links in the description and on separate promotional videos on his channel, which explain the content of his courses quickly and concisely. While Udemy have some kind of questionable marketing tactics themselves, themselves, uh, Brad from Traversy Media readily offers a 90% discount on his website, making his courses affordable, and the links he uses in his description include the promo link. Now that we see how a knowledge product, in this case online courses, can be marketed legitimately in good faith, let's take a look at the entrepreneur's methods. While browsing YouTube, I received two adverts at different times for the same product, Enix Singal's Email Marketing Startup Incubator. In one of the adverts, um, author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki, tells us how lucky we are to have the opportunity to make large amounts of income right from home. Kiyosaki asks us to join a free webinar hosted by Singal, and if you click the link around the advert, it takes you to the landing page. In an Ix and Gars case, the initial product is a free live webinar where he takes you through the steps in order to become an email marketer and start making that ludicrous wealth that he promises. But they aren't live webinars. There's one every 15 minutes according to the timer on the website, and I watched two of them, not actively watching them. I didn't sit through them, you know, writing down notes, but they, they were like two and a half hours long. And they were really bad. <laughs> they were awful. <laughs> One of the reasons that we're able to call ourselves a true incubator, we're not a course. Everyone out there is out there selling you courses. We're not a course. We're an incubator. It's because of our mentorship. But you spent like 150 minutes by the time you get to the end of the webinar, which he encourages you to stick through in order to, again, achieve this massive wealth. You can't skip through it because it claims to be live. So you sunk all this time in. And then at the end, while well, you've learned nothing, he's just talked about how you too could make this wild wealth that he's earning from email marketing. It's so simple. Just follow my steps. I'll give you the software. I'll give you the information, the knowledge. I make more money than investment bankers make in a month, in a day, working way less than them. What if you could make half of what I make? What if you could make 50% of what I make? What? Forget that. Forget 50%. That would be $6,850, right? Forget that. What if you could make 10% of what I make? Through the magic of editing, I'll skip ahead to the end of the webinar where we see this. Now he wants you to buy his course, which costs around $1,000. And within that course, according to reviews left online, are further upsells to new products. Singal uses free offerings first that give little information, that take up a lot of your time and promise huge success, and then reveals new, more expensive products until you're forking out big money. Another tactic of his, is that if you buy his course and find the system inside doesn't work, you are taught to think the problem is me and my limiting beliefs. These entrepreneurs have testimonials up the wall from people who are apparently successful from using their method. So if you don't make money, it must be your fault. So let's see if this pattern that we've seen with the Nick Singal shows itself in other knowledge product marketing. Hey, big news. You're about to discover how I sold 131,404 units of a product on Amazon that cost me just a dollar to buy and I sold for $20. And I reveal everything that I've learned. Sophie Howard is a little bit different. 
she uses the same formula that we laid out with the Nick Sengal, but actually offers an ebook rather than a free live webinar. The effect is the same, you have to sync time in, and in this case, cost, she actually charges you for the ebook, which is a novel prospect. I didn't see anyone else doing this. But if you do in fact pay, that strengthens the effect of the sunk cost even more because you've invested time and money into this thing that hasn't given you anything back yet. The book, as it turns out, is not very good. I actually found a copy of it online. I just Google searched it. And it really is just a way to market her Amazon course. Half of the book is a transcript of a YouTube interview she did about being rich, followed by unrelenting customer testimonials. She also gave 20 examples of hot selling Amazon products with the caveat that these are not products I would personally sell or recommend to others to sell as they are now quite competitive. So it's just a list of things that exist. <laughs> <laughs> there is already excellent information for free on YouTube that detail how to use uh, Amazon's FBA system, which is what she's doing, is what she's selling you. And the reviews of the course say it's not worth the price. She misleads her viewers in the advert saying the book normally retails for $29.95 but I can't find any evidence of that anywhere. What I do find is a different book released at the same time that is negatively reviewed and also isn't $30. She's also using the same time sinking sales techniques as Anique Singal, so I'd call her a contrepreneur. I'm gonna show you how to make $100 in a day on WhatsApp. John Crestani is one of the more unapologetic contrepreneurs. He has a YouTube presence, and in these two videos, there's a link in the description that takes you to this website. This is the sales funnel for his own online course. He shows it in the video, and the course apparently teaches you how to create an auto-webinar funnel. After two hours of a fake live webinar talking about how he made it big, he reveals the webpage link to buy his super affiliate system. Okay, what's that? According to Ebiz Facts, if you watch John's primary webinar promo for the Super Affiliate System, the first four success stories he shows you all appear to be from other students selling John's training. You just paid $1,000, discounted apparently, from $5,000 to learn how to get other people to take that $1,000 course you just took. In conclusion, there are a ton of resources already out there for free that are high quality that show you how to do these different things like affiliate marketing, drop shipping, or even real estate investing. The old school classic get rich quick scheme. So we know what a entrepreneur looks like. We know how their tactics work and what effect they can have on desperate down and out people looking for ways to escape their bad situation. But how can we fight back against entrepreneurs? I don't really know. The best way I can think of is education, like the video I mentioned at the start, or like CoffeeZilla's excellent fake guru series. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, or dislike and comment if you didn't enjoy it, or comment if you did enjoy it. Make sure to smash that like button. <laughs>